I was just doing my makeup in the bathroom and I was getting so into this like purple thing that I have going on in my eyes that I literally almost started doing my brows in the bathroom and the whole point of putting makeup on today was to film this video. So this is an updated brow tutorial. The last brow tutorial that I did is very similar to this one. Not a lot has changed, but oh my gosh, I'm so out of breath. But I'm gonna share it with you guys just so it's like revamped, refreshed, and it's been something you guys have been asking for a lot. So let's get right into it. As you can tell, I was blessed with very, very thin brows. So I pretty much have to be an artist every single time I put my makeup on. Typically, I'll brush these guys out like this. One good thing about having really thin brows is I pretty much never have any brow growth down here where I don't need it. So that's good. Okay, so one thing that I think's changed since the last one I did is I use two different Urban Decay products now because they accidentally sent me one that I didn't request and then I ended up using it and I was like, this works out really well. So it's the Urban Decay Brow Beater, which is the thinner one. And instead of just being a circular uh, pencil, it's kind of shaped like that. This thing has been through some shit, man. Um, so it's shaped like that. And then I use this one in taupe. And then I'll show you the rest of the products as we go. So with this one, I will typically use the slant here to, and by the way, with this tutorial, you can literally take it and rip it apart. You can, it's like a recipe. You can change it however you want, whatever works for you. If you like them bushier, then add a little more flicks. If you don't, then add a little less. If you only like, you know, some of them in the front, then do what I'm gonna do here and then don't add any flicks throughout the rest. Make it your bitch, whatever you want it to be. So, I like to start with this one because this one's always my problem eyebrow. So I take this little brow beater in taupe trap and I kind of will lightly etch out the bottom of my eyebrow shape and I'll take it all the way to the tail. And if I mess up on this at all, I just clean it up with concealer. So if you do, no big deal. It's makeup, it wipes off. Who is texting me? Oh, it's Nicholas. My husband. Oh my gosh, that's so crazy. If you guys didn't know, I had a surprise wedding at our baby shower. Now this next part is the part that I sometimes will switch up. It depends how in a hurry I am. So from here, I will either start about right here where my hair starts to kind of grow this way as opposed to up. These little guys, I know you can't see it because it's so little and there's so few, but these little guys grow up a little bit. So the first way I'll do it is I'll take this and I'll start drawing in the top of my eyebrow right here and fill this totally in. The next way I'll do it, which is, that's the way I'm gonna do it today. Um, the next way requires a little more patience which I don't have today. <laughs> so um, I'll usually take this and just start drawing my little hairs up all the way down, all the way down, all the way down, and just build that out little by little. And then I'll move on to the next step. But today I'm going to, I usually go to where the top of these hairs are sticking up, grab that and how big your brow is, is up to you. Whatever feels right to you, but generally, if these little wispies are way up here, you're gonna want your brow a little bit bigger or you need to trim them, bitches. So whichever it is, you figure it out what works for you, but I just like to kind of follow this line, but do it up here. And sometimes if I wanna be a little more sassy, I'll like make this go a little higher over here. So I kind of just let my hand do whatever it wants to do and then I roll with that. So I start to draw this in and I use taupe trap for me because it's a it's much lighter than a lot of the other shades it might even be their lightest one so I like to use a lighter one because a it's forgiving and b it's a good place to build on this little hole right here is driving me nuts it is a good place to build on so I will meet this up with my tail Fill this all in. I will 
lightly brush. Make sure I didn't miss any spots. See, there's a little chunk right there that I missed. I'll fill that guy in. Then in the front, I will very lightly pull this to where I want it. And I always go, you can stick this to the ball of your nose and whatever this is called. I'm not here for technical terms. Don't know what it is. You hold it right here and that's where your eyebrow should start. It's also supposed to be lined up with like the, your tear duct. So I do this even lighter over here. And then sometimes with this, which I'll do today, I'll start my little upward flicks with this just to fill it in a little bit. And typically I'll do, the, I'll mirror my steps and I'll just kind of go along with the flow with all of it. But today I'm gonna do this one off camera just so I can focus on it because he never likes to listen. He always wants to do his own thing. So I need full concentration on that one. So from here, depending on what my roots look like, today they're very dark and very large. So, you know, depending on what my roots look like, that's how I choose my next color and I decide how dark I can get with it. Now, I do have a face editing app and one thing I noticed that it does when you do the comparison before and after is it makes my brows a little bit darker. So I've been deciding that I like my brows a tiny bit darker. So I'm pulling out Neutral Nana today. Um, and by the way, this is the brow blade um, that comes with the waterproof pencil on one side and then the ink stain on the other. And if you've never seen this before, this is just like this and helps you create like really like nice little flicks of hair, which look very realistic. And this is the brow beater, the thin one. I was like, wait, they're the same name, but they're not brow blade, brow beater. I use them interchangeably. So thanks to Urban Decay, I have this in literally every color I could ever want, which is awesome because these are not the cheapest. These are around like $26, I think. So I'll link you guys in the description box below. But definitely like if you like these, just stock up because <laughs> there's nothing worse than doing your makeup and running out of your favorite brow products. Like your brows are almost like the hair on your head, in my opinion. They really just like frame your face and set the stage for failure or feeling good about yourself. So, um, and because my roots are so dark, dark right now, I'm gonna be using Neutral Nana and then I'm gonna go to, where the hell is it? It's Dark Drapes, wherever it is. So with Neutral Nana next, I'm gonna go in with the pencil. And this one's a bit darker, so what I typically start to do is draw on my little hairs, and you can kind of see those start to pop up. And I'll generally try and pull these a little bit over the line that I made, like the shape that I made with the taupe trap, if that makes sense. And I keep these ones going up and down with a slight sway this way. And then these ones will, you can go a little crazier if you want. And then I keep doing this all the way down through the tail. And right now you decide like how fluffy you want this. And I will also draw out the, I'll kind of leave this area right here alone and right here I'll kind of start to draw this on so that the bottom, oh shit, see, concealer, don't worry. <laughs> um, I'll kind of like start to draw this like a little darker so that this is really defined. And that's up to you. If you like that really dark, you can probably do it with like the next darker shade I'm gonna use, whatever that is for you. And then I'll pull some hairs up from that too. Sometimes if I feel like it, I will use the ink stain one of this and I will draw some little hairs in. It kind of depends on how dark of a look I'm going for, how much makeup I'm putting on, how natural I'm going. Like I said, it's like a recipe. You can change it to fit your needs, whatever you need. So I just like to paint a couple of these in here. These are a little bit less noticeable than what we're gonna do with dark drapes, which is the third darkest shade I'm gonna use. But you can definitely, it definitely adds dimension and makes your brow look a little more realistic, 
So I like to use it for over here because sometimes the pencil can make this look like your tail look a little thicker than you want it to. So this is the answer. And sometimes I'll use it to define the bottom too. Sometimes not, sometimes I will. We'll do it today. And you can decide what you like when you, you know, try some of this on your own brows. There's what we have so far. Um, and next is dark drapes. This one I'll typically only use the um, ink stain side of it. And sometimes I'll wipe this off on my finger first just to make sure it's not a bunch of buildup that I'm just about to add like right in the front of my brow. So I kind of start wherever, it's up to you. And I am a lot more sparing with this one because as you can see, it's a lot darker. So I'm a lot more sparing with this and I'm more purposeful where I'm starting it and ending it because it is so much darker. So you can decide what you wanna get done with this and how much you wanna build it up. I would typically stop there. Sometimes the, the lines can look a little fake like they do right now, so I'll do this right after I put them in. And then sometimes, a lot of sometimes <laughs> um, I will like if it's nighttime for instance and I want like a little bit of a more defined darker look I will do this again at the bottom just to define the bottom of the brow or if it's like a little too high up or maybe uneven or there's a pencil line further down and I just want to cover it quickly I will take this and kind of like add product like that okay so another trick to make this look a little more natural if you have more eyebrow hair than I do um, or just to kind of blend in like your pencil marks or your ink marks is taking something like a brow boss gel like this. I just got some new ones from um, uh, Wet n Wild. So I'll link you guys to those too. It's like a whole, actually, let me just grab it and show it to you. So I just got these from uh, NYX. Did I say Wet n Wild? I meant NYX. These are all um, brow, uh, whatchamacallits, um, thickening mascara. So I'm just gonna grab one of these. That's taupe, cool ash brown. We're gonna use that one. And they're like little squeeze tubes. So if you have like a fan brush that you wanna use instead of one of these, you can just squeeze it right out of the tube. Anyways, um, so you can take one of these if you have it, whatever brand you like and just kind of use this on your brows and it will kind of marry all your work together a little bit so it looks a little more realistic. This may look a little dark to you right now, but keep in mind I don't have any lashes on <laughs> or mascara or lipstick, so it'll come together a little bit more. I'm going to take a concealer brush, get a little bit of foundation or, con or concealer rather on there and I'm using the Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. And I am just going to put a little bit of this on here to define the brows even further. I don't really do this very often. Actually, I don't like the shape that I just made out of that. So it's a little too high. So I'm gonna take this and draw it out again. And then grab some more concealer and redraw that there. And okay, I'm gonna do my other brow and I will be back. <laughs> 